now that Calibre is installed, we go to Preferences to install the plugin. So click on Plugins, and then we'll go to Load Plugin from File, and you'll need the path to the EPUB plugin file that you downloaded earlier. So we'll see in the unzipped file there's Ignoble EPUB plugin zip, and you leave that as a zip. Click Yes to install. Click OK. And we will apply changes, close, and we will restart Calibre. And then reopen it from your start menu, all programs. And now we have to set the preferences for the plugin to allow us to unlock our Barnes & Noble EPUBs. So highlight the plugin and we're going to choose Customize Plugin. And here you'll see your first name and last name and the credit card number from your settings page on barnesandnoble.com. So in this example, we're going to use John Doe as the first name and last name. And then you just enter a comma with no spaces and enter in the default credit card number. And of course, this is just an example credit card. Click OK. And you'll see that this information has been added to the plugin. We'll apply. Close. Now we'll head up to top left corner to add a book. And this is the path to one of the EPUBs that we've downloaded from our Barnes & Noble Nook for PC program. And Calibre imports that into the system using the plugin and it unlocks the EPUB. You can see that it immediately updated the cover and when we open it there are no problems. It opens unlocked. If it was locked, you would get an error saying that it has been locked with DRM. And just for another verification, we can open the containing folder and open the EPUB. And if you have Adobe Editions installed, the EPUB should open with no problem. And there you have it. Calibre has imported your Nook EPUB DRM book, stripping it of the DRM, so you can now use your legally purchased book on any device.